we are Nerds of the West, and we are giving you our thoughts again on Goosebumps Terror in the Graveyard. This is a game from back in the 90s with a moving board, rolling dice to move around and getting cards to hopefully one day drop a skull and kill the ghost. My name is Tom. We have a Beck. Hey. We have a Lachlan. Hello. I mostly want their thoughts because they were the, playing this for the first time. I'm Reese also here. Hello. <laughs> and I, I knew what I was doing, have played this before. This is our third time playing it this month. Yeah. Um, they play too long. You roll dice, you move around. It's a very basic mechanical game. How did you guys find those mechanics, in particular with the shifting board and the threat of killing children? Uh, I'm upset we didn't see any children die, but honestly, 10 out of 10 game. That is straight up there above Ark Nova. I'm calling it now. Like, game of the year. Wow. <laughs> we, I will say, uh, once Beck has given her thoughts, uh, I do really like it. It is definitely a very basic game, but this is also the kind of game where it's super easy to pull out. Like, yeah, the setup's a bit of a bitch, but it's not as... Um, it's not horrible. It's not mm. horrible. It's also one of the games where you, you want to pull it out to show people because, like, the moving board is so unique that it's like... That is... That blew me away. And the, the box is a component to make the board itself. So we played this at four this time. It is so much quicker with four players because the board is shifting around more. You're not getting locked down more. We played it at three and we took a little over two and a bit hours to play two games. Mm. This time, I think it was, what, 45 minutes at most? Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised it's a 45 minute game, but also it was very take that. It can drag. Yeah. It didn't this time. Uh, Reese, better at four players? I think this is way better at four players. There's a lot more going on and there is that more... Uh, more of that take that and I don't usually like take that games but it's not super offensive yeah. in this one like yeah. it's just like oh your person turns into a monster yeah the take that isn't do stuff isn't like, you're out of the game it's you now just have an extra step to win yeah. which I'm totally okay with yeah um this is gonna be a fairly short review this is a question that's becoming more relevant to us now because we're getting on in years would you break this out with the children in your life Hell yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. absolutely. 100% yes. Absolutely. I think I can't remember if I said it. Your niece would love this game. She probably it's, would. it's just chaos and rolling dice. It's not Minecraft, but yeah, she'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's entered a Minecraft age. Anyway. Um, what a good age. Component quality? B very good. Very for, good. For a 90s game. Like, for a game that's over 20 years old. Like, some solid um, card stock. The cards are almost fine. thirty, but then also like all the these components. Like. And I thought because these also move like every turn as well. Mm. They're getting hammered. Um, super good. And yeah. I mean, the there was a solid tough. twenty years when this didn't didn't get played. So, so but that also oh, yeah. lends itself to being like really good component quality because it was twenty years where no one touched it, and this this motherfucker still springs. Yeah, it's slightly. Like, this is the most damaged bit, where the yeah. ghost stands. Wait, wang some sticky tape on there, you'd be yeah. right. There is some sticky tape holding some parts together. Honestly, super good and, like, really atmospheric. Like, I just love the 3D element of it. I'm I'm keen to see more games do this. I, I know there are other board games that have messed with it and we haven't played them, and I'm keen to play those. I think it's a really cool mechanic that could be utilised in so many cool ways. Mm. But... Right, like, ch chat brought it up, like, make this... Oh, make this into a legacy game, and I could totally see that. I could totally see someone just being like... Probably us. But being like, cool, this is the graveyard from the Goosebumps. And then you have all the references from the Goosebumps books mm. over a campaign, you know? Like, Honestly, so it's good. all tied to uh, yeah. the graveyard, right? Don't think it would work directly, but one, I always want a Westworld board game. I think the, the shifting nature of that could work really well. Two, if you could make it work art-wise, the shifting staircases of Harry Potter mm, and set yeah. it within that world could be a way to do it. It's a lot of cool options for just yeah. shifting pieces around, and I would love to see that as a legacy game um, because you would just have so many cool things you can do with the board ever mm. changing and ever moving. Is this in contention for, like, best board? Or like, yeah. <laughs> it gets an honourable mention at the or very least. Or coolest mechanic. Coolest mechanic. 
coolest mechanic. I think it's oh. one of the coolest mechanics. I mean, we have to look, look back on the yeah, list yeah. and see what other games have really cool because we did like played Steam up and that has the whole like yeah. Steam oh, craze. The, that movie. the labyrinth, yeah. Ooh. Give this some cool theme. Anyway, with all that said, let's shift this because it is still old and might break. We need to rank oh, this oh, yeah. for you guys for the first time and re-rank it for us after having played it four players. We rank games here, chuck it under the table. Uh, not based on one to 10, we can't objectively say this game is better or worse than anything else. Sorry, but my skull. <laughs> if given the opportunity, would what we would prefer to play. This currently sits pretty far down the bottom. Oh. It is hanging out with Last Message, Nemesis Lockdown. I will say if this is the first review you're seeing from us, we play games that we know we're going to want to play. We don't necessarily play games that we think are going to be bad. We don't get to play that many, so we can't review too many and say that they're bad. I'd put it above Head to Head Wombat. I'm yeah. not putting it that much higher, but it is still higher. Just put the beard hair there so we can... <laughs> <laughs> Only at four players. Three players, two players, it slows down too much. Four players, the extra chaos makes the game that little bit better. But you guys who are playing it for the first time... I'm probably just going to have to put it... Yeah, maybe a below Mantis. Uh, I'm putting mine where Tom's put his, uh, above Hand to Hand Wombat. Okay. Like, Hand to Hand Wombat has the, like, I feel like, it's not exactly the same, but it's like that chaotic element to it that this kind of has, but mm -hmm. your eyes are open in this, <laughs> and that, that random element just makes it, like, a little bit more skill-based. It's just, if someone was like, do you want to play Hand to Hand Wombat or Goosebumps? I'd be like, uh, give me Goosebumps. I feel it's like just a, it's just just a solid game. It's yeah. not particularly amazing. It's not particularly fun, but it's good at what, what it does. What is oh, wrong with in, you? In 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 regards to everyone else's thing, uh, I will now stick with Below Mantis uh, and just give it a lot of points when we get to the actual <laughs> ranking. <laughs> because we do re-rank these all at the end of the year. Uh, that means for now, it's gonna sit. Yeah, I I want to say one more thing though. Of that course. Is, um, when we finished playing Nightmare, and we were like, what should we play now? And I was like, oh, we could just give a cheeky run of Goosebumps because it's quick enough that we could we could bang it in afterwards. And Reese got out of his chair so fast, you, <laughs> you couldn't see him. He was like flash lightning. And I feel like that is a testament to this sort of game because I'm similar where I'm like, I want to get it out to show other people yeah. this game. So I ran. I ran <laughs> to get this game. <laughs> and you're just like, there's so many cool gimmicks about it that you're like, you've got to see this game. And that's the reason I'd get it out is more so just like you got to see it as opposed to it being a super fantastically well-made game. Exactly. So that's our thoughts on Goosebumps. We mostly recommend if you get a chance to play this, have a shot at it. It is a really cool experience. We have Reese. Hello. We have been Beck. Hi. This is Lachlan. Hello. My name's Tom and we'll catch you next time.